Thanks for watching What to Expect When You're Expecting to buy Philadelphia area real estate, of course, with me, Stacey Sanseverino, your realtor and wealth building advisor for life. In this session, we will address home inspections ins and outs. Pennsylvania state law requires that property owners fill out a 10 page form detailing what they know about the home. Because sellers' memories about when repairs had been made are faulty, and because sellers aren't required to provide backup research for their answers, we will nearly always advise you to have a home inspection contingency, which usually takes place over the first 17 days after the seller signs your offer. The home inspection contingency allows you to inspect the home, and if you don't like what you see, you can negotiate uh, credits or repairs or terminate the deal and get your deposit money back. Of course, any money paid to the inspectors was well spent if you decide to walk away and would not be reimbursed to you by the inspectors. The home inspection contingency is actually three negotiable time periods. In the first period of time, usually a 10-day contingency period, you will conduct your inspections, get estimates if needed, and make a request for this to the seller for credits or repairs, if any. And we can help you find good inspectors and line up contractors for estimates that you would need in order to make a good decision. Once you've made your request of the seller, the second of the three time periods is a five-day negotiations period where the seller can do their due diligence and negotiate an agreement with you. If by the end of that five-day period you are not satisfied with their reply, you have an additional two days to decide if you will move forward, terminate the deal, or request an extension to continue to negotiate. When negotiating your inspection with the seller, keep in mind, there is no such thing as passing or not passing an inspection, as you may see in TV commercials. You decide what you're willing to live with, and the seller will decide what she is willing to do in order to sell the home to you. Number two, even recently rehabbed homes may need several thousands of dollars of repairs. This is because sometimes contractors need to finish their punch list, there may be discrepancy between current codes and grandfather conditions, and some repairs aren't critical and are easily overlooked after living in a home for years and years. Number three, the home inspection contingency is for major items only, not cosmetics or routine maintenance items or systems upgrades. Four, the price of the home should reflect the condition of the home. The better the price and terms you got up front, the less likely the seller will negotiate the inspection later. And five, if the inspector calls for replacement of a system because it is near or at the end of its useful life expectancy, do not expect the seller to replace the item if it ain't leaking. At best, you may get a partial credit or can terminate the deal. You may be thinking, what kind of inspections do I need to do and how much do they cost? Great question. The three typical home inspections that agents in Pennsylvania will recommend are the home, termite, and radon inspections. These together will run you about seven to $900 and are visual inspections of the roof, structure, plumbing, major systems, determination of the presence of active or dead termites, and the levels of radon gas that occurs from naturally occurring uranium in the ground. Typically in Pennsylvania, sellers will treat for termites if required by the inspector, and all other recommended repairs and remediations are negotiable between buyer and seller. And as an experienced agent and landlord, I've learned to recommend a fourth inspection to protect my client's wallet, and I will gladly share that with you at our buyer strategy session, where you will begin to see why so many of our clients brag about us to their friends, family, and coworkers, since after all, referrals are the lifeblood of our business. Now that you know what to expect when you're expecting, to buy Philadelphia area real estate, of course, please leave a comment below. We'd love to know what you think.